Fantastical 2 adds a brand new full calendar window and it's really useful. So to get to it, you can go down to the gear icon and click open full calendar window. You can also access it by just going in your dock on your Mac and clicking on the Fantastical icon. While in the mini window, the keyboard shortcut Command-0 also gets you to this view. You could also access the full calendar window by holding down the Option key and double tapping on any date. And if that's not enough, you can also access it by just holding down the Option key and tapping on the Fantastical icon. No matter how you get there, this new window is really useful. You can see it both in this windowed mode and you can also make it a full screen calendar view, which is really nice. One of my favorite features is this infinite scrolling event list. So you can just scroll through here and see all of your events. While you're doing that, both the month view up above and the calendar to the right will scroll to match whatever date you've selected. So you can see as I go through this, it's scrolling out. Just like in the mini window, if I tap on the date and year, it'll take me back to today. And the layout is really great. Going to the top here, you can see there's a day view, a week view, month, and year. And the way they do the year view is really nice. I'm really impressed with the year view. If you put the mouse over any particular date, it's going to give you a list of the events. But also without clicking on it, you can get a really good idea how busy you are by the color backdrop on any date. A date with a white background has no events. A date with a yellow background has a few events. And a date with a red background has a lot of events. This feature will make it really easy to plan events into the future on days that are good for you. Switching back to the week view, you can create a new event by just clicking and dragging. So I'm going to go ahead and do that here. And once I start that, you're going to see it's going to open up that text parser that we love so much about the mini window in Fantastical 2. And in this case, it's already got the date and the time period. So I could say record Fantastical screencast. And I'm going to put that on my personal or my Mac Sparky calendar. All of the parsing tricks that I showed you in the parsing video still work. When I'm done, I click Add Event, and it's created. That trick also works in the day view. In the month view, you can create a new event just by double-clicking on the date. And once again, you get the parser. But in this case, you're going to have to add the time, and you're good to go. Another nice feature is in the week view. If you've got a large screen Mac, putting seven days on this much space probably doesn't make sense. You may want to have more information. You can do that in the preferences for Fantastical. So go in here and go to the general tab and say days per week. I'm going to set that to 14. And now you can see I have a two week view in the calendar view in Fantastical. You can also easily search your events in this window. Just go up to the search bar and type in your search. And you can see that it'll give you a nice scrolling list of all of the events that you have on your search. One of the nice features about this is for prior events, events that have already occurred, they still show up on your search, but they're grayed out. These guys at Flexibits have thought of everything. Another option with the full calendar mode is to turn it to light mode. And that takes this black screen and turns it white here. To do that, just go up to the preferences and click on appearance and click light theme. It's worth noting that the light view also applies to the mini window, but I think I prefer the default. The full calendar window also has support for reminders. If you click on the reminders button, it shows up. One of the really nice features is reminders that have a date attached to them show up in the scrolling list of events, and reminders without a date attached to them do not. They just show up in the reminders list. So I'm going to go back to the scrolling event list, and you can see here I had those uh, pickled herrings I was going to buy on Saturday. So if I scroll down to Saturday, you can see it shows up right there in my scrolling event list. But all of those other reminders that do not have a date attached don't show up. This keeps your event list a lot less messy, and it's a great addition to the application. All right, I'm going to pull it out of full screen mode now. This new full calendar view is an excellent addition to Fantastical 2. It makes the application even better and more useful. You can learn more about Fantastical 2 at flexibits.com.